Yo guys, everything technology here. It's a brand new year. I just upgraded my MacBook. So this is what's on my MacBook Pro 2019. Let's get right into it. Okay, before I get into what's on my MacBook, I wanna talk about um, the specific MacBook model I have, which is a MacBook Pro mid-2017, 15 inch with touch bar. I picked it up on Black Friday for only $1,700, which was a killer deal. Um, it retails for $2,200, but you know, I saved a ton of money. And the thing is with this specific model, the mid 2017 um, 15 inch, is that it's always going on sale. In fact, I saw it today on Amazon for a limited time. It was going for $1,500, which is another killer deal. But I'll have links in the description in case you're interested um, in picking up a MacBook or a MacBook Pro. So let's start off with the dock. And this is where I keep all the applications that I use almost on a daily basis and alongside all the other um, applications that ship with your MacBook so we have Finder, Siri, I'm gonna skip over some of these because you know I don't need to talk about them Apple Mail app I don't use this to be honest I've tried using it but I'm not a big fan of it I prefer to use Gmail and actually found this new mail client which I'll be talking about a little bit later in this video um, we have notes photos you know your typical Apple apps then we have Final Cut. This is what I used to edit all my videos on the channel. I've been using Final Cut for the past two, three years now, um, ever since I got my very first MacBook. Before I was using Adobe Premiere and Sony Vegas Pro, um, but I still do use Adobe Premiere here and there. I don't have it installed on this specific MacBook, but I do use it for work and other client stuff um, outside of YouTube. Then we have Logic Pro X. I, has to, I actually used to use this like all the time to create beats. I don't know if you guys know, but I have a SoundCloud called Young Turtle and I used to make beats and I used to use them in the background of my videos. Um, it was a while back, but I haven't opened this software up in a minute, but I do need to get back on that um, grind because it's a lot of fun making beats, but I've just been kind of busy. We have Photoshop. I use this for thumbnails as well as to Photoshop some stuff, of course. Adobe After Effects, I use this for some of the graphics you see in my videos, um, as well as for um, other client stuff outside of YouTube. Adobe Lightroom is what I use to edit a lot of my pictures. And this is a great software. I'm sure a lot of you creatives know this, and I definitely love Adobe Lightroom. It's super useful. Um, I use it for a lot of the Instagram pictures I post. Speak of Instagram, you should follow me at Victor's Fits, little shameless plug. After that, we have PD Element 6 Pro. This is an application I've been using recently. I actually talked about it um, in my past, what's on my MacBook Pro video, but that I did last year and I'm still using it. I got the Pro version now. It's a pretty awesome software. In fact, let me open it up right now. It allows you to create PDFs, you can edit them, you can sign contracts. And here, let me just show you an example because I think this is really cool. Um, I'm gonna open up um, a PDF real quick. I love the fact that it allows you to edit PDFs, like literally anything. So here's a little random newsletter I got from PenFed, which is a credit union, it's a little bank. But anyway, as you can see, it allows you to, you know, input your name so you don't have to print this out and, and sign stuff and then fax it and do all that other stuff. It eliminates the process. You can literally sign documents on here and do the whole nine yards here. It's, it's super useful. If you're looking for an alternative to Adobe's PDF openers, um, definitely consider this one. This is by far my favorite yet. Next we have is Spotify. Check out my Spotify playlist. A lot of people like them. Got 63 followers on my lip playlist. I got like 73 followers on here. But I really like music. Offset just dropped a new album. If you guys heard it, let me know how you think, what you think about it in the comment section. In fact, what are some of your favorite artists or some of your favorite songs? Leave it in the comment section because I'm always down to check out different types of music. Next up, we have Audacity. I'm actually using this right now to record the voiceover for this video. My mic right here is actually recording, as you can see here. And it's a free software, free to use. I'll have links to get it in the description alongside every other application I specifically mentioned in this video. But it's available both on Windows and Mac in, in case you're looking for um, an application to record your voiceovers or for any other auto recordings. Then we have Grids. I recently just hopped on this, but it allows you to um, use Instagram on your um, MacBook. And as you can see here, it puts it in like a really nice little format. You can like pictures, you can comment on pictures and stuff like that. Next up is 4K Video Downloader. Um, I absolutely love this application. In fact, I did a video on it, but YouTube actually removed it because apparently it was against their guidelines. I don't know. Anyway, this is a good software. It allows you to download videos from YouTube onto your computer for background music from some of my YouTube videos as well as for other stuff. Um, it's super easy to use and again, it's called 4K Video Downloader. And the cool thing about this is that you could download videos on YouTube in up to 4K resolution, which is really impressive and it works really well. 
Next up is Spark. This is a recent application. In fact, I, I got it a couple of days ago, but it's a mail client. Um, I logged into my email. I've been using it lately. It's really useful. It's super organized. A lot of people recommended it and I finally decided to check it out. And so far I've been liking it. As you can see, the first email I have here is welcome to Spark. And this is a great mail client, especially if you don't like Apple's mail app that comes stock with your iPhone or your MacBook. Um, check this one out. Um, I love how minimal and nice it looks like. Next up is Better Snap Tool. Um, this is absolutely a must have if you own a MacBook. Um, this feature is actually available on Windows computers, but it allows you to multitask um, pretty, pretty easily. So as you can see here, I'm gonna pull up a picture. And as you can see here, you can snap it to the side, kind of like you do on Windows. You can snap it on that corner. I don't know why Apple doesn't have this feature already, and it's kind of dumb that they don't, but you know, Better Snap Tool works great. Um, I think it's like 99 cents or something like that, or it might be free. Uh, actually, it's probably you probably have to pay for it, um, but that will be linked down in the description. After that, we have Google Keeps. I actually use this to um, randomly jot down notes. Um, I also use Apple's Notes app. I use this more for like a to-do list type notes or like a checklist, um, or if I have video ideas, you know, and I just write it down, that's what I use this for. But for the Apple's Notes app, which I do use, I use it for more detailed notes if like, I'm at church or something and I'm trying to take down some notes from the sermon, then that's probably what I'll be using the notes app for. Then we have Parcel. Um, this allows you to track your packages. This is super clutch. It's super easy to use. You know, you just add the tracking number, you select the carrier, the description of the item, and it updates it and it sends you notifications. It lets you know when your package has been delivered. It's great. Check it out. I recommend it. Next is books. I haven't been reading as often, but um, I, I did have a period where I was reading a book like every single month. I know some people are able to pull off reading a book like every week, but that's just not me. I don't like books enough for that. But if you have any books that you recommend, let me know down in the um, comment section because I am looking into reading a little bit more books. Slack is an application I use for work. Well, you've probably used it before if you have an online job. Um, it's, it's, it's dope. And the last application I would say I use on a daily basis is Google Chrome. This is the main web browser I use. I have it downloaded on my Android phone, on my MacBook, of course, and any other computer or any other device I use because it all syncs up with my Google account. It keeps my history, uh, my tabs open. Um, it, it just syncs up very simultaneously and it's super easy to use. And it's fast. I mean, who doesn't use Chrome? I don't know why people use Safari or Mozilla Firefox or any other like web browser because Chrome is the best. And if you disagree, let me know in the comment section because I would love to argue with you and prove my point that Chrome is the best web browser. So let's open up the launch pad and let's talk about um, a couple of the other applications that I use, not so much on a daily basis, but I have here just to have it. Raw Extractor Lite is a great application if you download a lot of raw files that you need to extract because a lot of computers, you know, they don't have built-in raw extractors, but this is available on the Apple App Store. It's free to download, super easy to use, and you don't have to pay for it. And the very last application I wanna mention, which always annoys me that I have to talk about this, is Android File Transfer. Apple does not let you transfer files between your Mac to your Android device. I think that's the dumbest thing ever, and it's ridiculous that you have to download a whole nother extension made by a whole nother developer just to transfer pictures and videos between your Mac and your Android device. Um, Apple, you know, we know how Apple is. They're a little complicated, but come on. You're not gonna include an SD card on the latest MacBook and you're not gonna allow us to transfer files between your Android device and your phone. And that's gonna be for this video, hope you enjoyed it. If you're gonna be downloading any of the specific applications that I mentioned, let me know in the comment section um, why you're gonna get it and why you find it useful. If you have any app recommendations that I probably need on my MacBook, let me know down in the comment section as well, as well as leave some feedback if you have any. Also, if you have any questions, Leave it in the comment section as well. Leave, you know, you guys know what to do. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you like to see more content like this. See you in the next one. Bye.